did say I would read something for Earth Day. So this was originally written as an Easter, but today it's going to be an, an Earth Day poem. Rolling across my yard on a sunny spring day, with mud and muck from earlier rains having dried, still mostly bare browns, while small groupings of tiny green plants present pretty petite petals of white, yellow, violet, and blue. Tan furry buds appear on magnolia and tulip trees in anticipation of their later flowering to add color to the terrain. Daffodils, daylilies, and tulips sprouting about in my garden to hopefully bloom soon. Beginnings of leaves outing on trees add to the promise of our continued being on this wonderful planet, our home. Very nice. Okay, this one. Ghosts, mm. of, Southern, Ghosts of Southern Terrace. Two deaths in our home were so very different. Rebecca, 34, was a long-term house guest with nowhere else to go. Virginia, 90, a loving and loved wife of nearly four decades. Becky died alone upstairs to be found on the floor in a fetal position with her fiancé in county jail. Virginia died in her own bed, surrounded by family. Upstairs, a blood-stained carpet has been replaced. Downstairs, a shrine of photos and cremains rests upon a dresser. Two women, dear to me, each in their own way. Last words from each of them to me were, I love you. While no ghostly sounds echo through the house, the memories haunt and live in uh, live on in my heart. Hmm. That was just beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Very thank nice. You. Uh, one more for William. While we're speaking of dead people, yeah, friend William the illustrator, truly an artist, a master of haiku, who inspired me to follow. He captured the world in picture and word. His pictures can capture a thousand words and his words a thousand thoughts to plumb concepts and emotions expressed so well. He will be missed, yet his art lives on. The illustrator, Bill, a master of haiku, may he rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, Ken. Always yeah. great. Very nice. 